Hi everyone, I'm Tony. Welcome to my channel. Replacing screens on TVs and phones and laptops is a common VFX technique. And that's what we're going to do today in this tutorial. So we'll take this shot of a laptop and we will replace the screen with a video clip. And we'll do this using the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. OK, we have a video clip here on our timeline. It's just a clip of my wife pretending to be interested in something on the laptop. And you'll notice we've got uh, white crosses on the screen. So I've not added a green screen, we don't need it. I've just added white crosses and we'll use those to do our track. So right click on this and go up to New Fusion Clip and we'll select that. And then we'll go over to the Fusion tab. So here we've got our media in and our media out. I'm gonna rename this media in, I'll just call it laptop, okay. And then I want to choose a reference frame. So I'll go to the end because this is where our laptop appears biggest. And so it'll be easiest to uh, kind of track from there. And with our cursor here on our reference frame, we can then add our planar tracker. So do shift and space. And then in here we type in, if I just remove that, planar. So we just type in the word and then it will give you options. So click on add and what we can do now is to draw a box around our screen so just left click here draw around our screen and then when you get to the other end here you'll get a little circle so you click in there then we can adjust these points if we want to just so we have it like this okay and you can adjust this how, how you think you need it then what we need to do is change tracker type here to hybrid point area. And then we have to click here to set the reference time. So if we click set, now we can see it's changed to 152. And that's the frame where we've set our reference. Okay, so now we can track. Okay, that's our track and it looks reasonably solid here. I don't see any drifting, so that's good. OK, and what I'll do now is with this planar tracker selected, I'll create a planar transform by clicking here. We don't need it right now. Let's just put it over here, but we will need it later. OK, I'm going to disconnect this for now. And again, we'll come back to that in a minute. And what I want to do now is paint out these uh, crosses. OK, so to paint out these crosses, we're going to add a paint node in between the laptop and the media out. So if we come up here, then we can click on paint. And what we'll do is we'll clone these. So we're on our reference frame again. And then we'll zoom in here. And we want to change our brush. So let's change it to this one, which is a stroke. And then if we come over to the inspector, we want to select this second one here, clone. So what we want to do is clone these, these out. Um, so rather like you do in Photoshop, you set a reference point and then you can clone something like this. So let's just go and clone these out. Okay, that looks good. We've uh, painted out our markers here. But if I scroll through, you'll see we have a problem. Yeah, they come back. So they're only painted out on this final kind of reference frame where we were working from. So what we want to do is to fix that. So first of all, I'm going to disconnect these and I'm going to move, let's move that over there. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to reconnect our planar tracker and I'm going to merge this paint node here over. So we've got this just coming in after. And then I want to take the output from this planar tracker as well and put it into the paint. So now you can see it's showing that we have um, no crosshairs there that we had on the screen, our tracking markers. Now we're going to change the mode within the planar tracker. So at the moment we've just been using track. But what we're going to do is change this to steady. And what that does is if you look here, it keeps the screen of the laptop uh, in the same place. And then it moves everything around the laptop. It kind of warps it around. So we need to click here on set 
So we're going to go to our reference frame where our painting was done on the same frame there. Click on set. And what that does is then shows us the clean frame, yeah, with our uh, tracking markers painted out. And then what we need to do is reverse this process. So let's copy and paste our planar tracker here, and then let's put it in like this, connect this and connect this. And now we need to click on invert. So click on invert. Now, when we scroll back through, we can see that our tracking markers are painted out for the whole clip. Okay, so good. Now what we can do is add in our, uh, our image, which will go on the screen. And we're gonna use a clip, which we made in the last video. This was the news ticker. So let's go to the media pool and let's drag that one into the flow. And we'll just rename this, let's call it insert and okay. And then with this insert, we will merge it in after our planar tracker. Now, of course, it's showing the whole screen. So what we need to do is we need to position it inside our laptop screen. Okay, so to do that, we'll do shift A. Sorry, not shift A, I'm thinking of Blender. Shift space. And in here, we will type corner and well, here we have the corner positioner, so we'll select that one. And now what you can see is you've got these little kind of uh, kind of things on the outside, little kind of selection um, points that you can then click on and move this corner positioner. So let's just position this inside the laptop screen. Okay, so something like that. Okay, so now if we have a look at this, then we will see that our image doesn't seem to be moving. Yeah, and the reason it's not moving is because it doesn't know where to go. So this is where our planar transform comes in. So now we need to add to this planar transform in between our corner positioner and our merge. So now when we do it, it moves in the correct way. So that's why it's important to create this planar transform because we need it at this moment. All right, so the last thing we need to do then is to make it look a bit more realistic. So clicking on our merge, we'll go up here to apply mode and I'm gonna change this apply mode here to screen. And what that does is it just kind of merges in a little bit better. So it kind of makes it become more of a part of the screen. What we can do then is we can adjust these sliders here until we get it kind of roughly how we think it should look. Okay, that doesn't look too bad, I think. So we can just adjust these, you know, depending on what you want. If you want a dull screen or whatever, then that's how you uh, do that. One last thing I'm going to do here is to change the colors. So click on the merge and then come here and add a color corrector. And I'll just make a couple of changes. So I will drop here the saturation down a little bit, maybe to 0.85. And I will change here the lift to 0.02 and maybe 0.9 for this. So this just gives us a little bit of a change and it puts the focus maybe more on the screen and less on her shoulder. So let's now go back to the edit page and we'll let this render. And let's play it back. So in this tutorial, we've taken a screen here with tracking markers. We've tracked it using the planar tracker and we've then removed those tracking markers and added a video clip to the screen. And then we've blended that video clip into the screen. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I hope there was something useful there for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.